All right, kiddo, it's a little cold out, so I think it's time to start a campfire. All right. Oh, hi. Ah, nice to see you here with us again. I hope you'll join us for our campfire. So lighting a fire uh, is a, a very important skill in the scouting program. Uh, it helps us keep warm and cheerful on our campouts. Now, there's three safety rules I have for you uh, for having a campfire. One, always have an adult with you. Two, make sure the area around your campfire uh, is clear of anything that could accidentally uh, catch a spark and light on fire. And three, make sure you have a bucket full of water that's got enough water to put the fire out if you need to. Right? When you're building a fire, you need to make sure you have the right materials. So you need first what we call tinder. This is very, very fine stuff. Uh, Dryer lint, I think, is the best tinder. Right? It's what's going to catch a spark and get going. Right? Then you need slightly uh, bigger stuff, very tiny sticks, and maybe small sticks, medium sticks, big sticks, and eventually fuel wood. Right? When I start a fire, I get all my materials prepped and ready, and I start with the tiniest stuff on one side, the tinder, and bigger, 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 all the way to the fuel wood. Right? So it's nice and organized. Now. I also have what I call the rule of two. No matter how much wood you think you're going to need, you're going to need two times as much. You go through it a lot faster than you think you will. Now, why it's important to have this uh, step from small to bigger to bigger to bigger uh, is... Long sheet. All right. Uh, because of how much heat it takes to light something on fire uh, versus how much heat that produces. So tinder lights really easy and makes that much heat, which is enough to light the small sticks, which make that much heat, which is enough to light the big sticks, which make that much heat, which is enough to light the fuel wood. If you skip a level like this, the tinder does not have enough heat to light the big sticks on fire. So I'll start with my tinder, dryer lint, in the middle, and my tiniest sticks. I like hemlock. Uh, hemlock is the tiniest little twigs that you're going to find out here, uh, plus the sap of hemlock is actually uh, a little bit of an accelerant, so it's going to help it go. And I'm just going to put those right on top of the lint. Then slightly bigger sticks, these are pine twigs. Uh, pine's really good to get things going. It burns easily. Now, if you're in a snowy uh, landscape like this and you're looking for dry wood, and dry wood is important, the best place to find dry pine twigs and sticks is on standing dead pine trees. Uh, if it's still standing and not touching the ground, uh, they're going to be pretty well dry. So from here, we start laying the sticks over the top, kind of like uh, in, a, in a teepee shape. So. You gotta move all around, put the sticks over the top. I might have those a little bit too long. Oops. All right, make sure you leave access to that tinder so when you start the fire, uh, it, it will uh, be able to get into there. And from there, I'm gonna do slightly bigger sticks still in that teepee shape, going all the way around, and around, and around, and around. Oops. Some sticks might knock over, that's okay. Now I'll move up to my next level of sticks, and I'll put some of them on. So we're going to light the inside of the fire, and that will burn outwards and outwards until the whole teepee is burning. And when that's going, then I can add more sticks. Um, so lighting the fire, there's a lot of different uh, choices for lighting a fire. It's always good to have a lighter as a last resort, uh, but it's not that much fun. So uh, I really only use the lighter for last resort. Uh, but if you do use a lighter, one of the important things to remember, as with everything else, keep it dry. If the uh, tip gets wet of the lighter, it's not going to light. 
Another option is matches. Good old fashioned waterproof matches. Um, even if they are waterproof, I always like to keep them in a waterproof container. Uh, you can't be too safe with this. A uh, nice little container like this is also gonna have a striker on the side so you can uh, light it nice and easy. Uh, but again, I'm not gonna light the fire with this, at least not yet, because yeah, again, that's no fun. Another option is what we call hut sparks uh, or a ferro rod. What it is is a magnesium rod and a steel striker. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lint and you're gonna scrape some magnesium shavings off onto the lint. Uh, and then once you've got some magnesium shavings on there, then you can uh, strike it harder to make some more sparks and that'll light the magnesium shavings and that will light the lint. Sometimes take a, takes a second. Right back up. So once you got the uh, lint going, oop, I blew it out. It is easy to blow that out. All right. uh, I like to have a scrap piece of paper that you can kind of use as a way to transfer the fire from the lint into the center of your fire teepee. And you can dump those in the water. As you can see, we've got a nice little fire going. Once you've got that fire going, you can add a few more sticks. Make sure you have plenty of fuel to keep it going. And that's how you can make a nice, easy fire on a cold, snowy evening uh, to help you enjoy the night. So, again, make sure you have an adult help you with the fire, make sure you have the ground clear around you, and make sure you have that water to put the fire out when you need it. And again, always, always have a buddy.